Angeblich finden wir jetzt hier das Spiegelstück. Hm. Niemand da. Wir gehen natürlich kurz zu ihrer Folge. Der über das Land herrscht. Ich hab's fast geschafft. Also, hm. Was haben wir neu gekriegt? Und zwei Sachen sind neu dazu gekommen. Nicht alle Fable-Wesen, die diese Welt erreichen, landen in Fable Town. Manche von ihnen fanden sich in einem fernst, fernst, äh, fernsten Winkel der Welt wieder. Und dann ging es jenen, die die Garden State einfach den Empire State vorziehen. So wie der Teufel von Jersey. Aus seiner Unterscheidung unterscheiden sich die Berichte oftmals, obwohl in den meisten Lederen Schwingen erwähnt werden. Doch die Begegnung mit einer bestimmten sagenumhobenen Axt, die einige Jahre zurückliegt, hat dieses Merkmal vorübergehend unwirksam gemacht. Jersey, Teufel. Schläger aus Garden State. Die Holzfälle Axt von Druiden, äh, Druiden verzaubert. Die Axt war einst bloß ein einfaches Werkzeug zum Fällen von Bäumen. Doch wurde daraus viel mehr, als sie vom Druiden verzaubert wurde. Und mit ihren Ruhen versehen wurde halt. Aber erst der Holzfälle hat sie zu einem wahren Objekt der Legenden erhoben. Als er damit den großen bösen Wolf von Kopf bis Fuß aufschlitzte, um Rotkäppchen zu schützen. Sie mag einen gewissen altertümlichen Charme ausstrahlen, aber eine schlichte Form und hochwertige Verarbeitung machen sie selbst heute noch zu einer tödlichen nützlichen Werkzeug und Waffe. Dann können wir ja hier weitermachen. Gefrorenes Fleisch, kalte Getränke. Hm. Ich hoffe, wir finden das Spiegelstück, weil wenn wir den brauchen, könnten wir damit echt die Tür auftreiben. Hm. Nichts. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Schätzen mal, right. keine. Gefrorenes Fleisch, richtig schreudig. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Hm, das ist ja die Frage, aber der Laden ist ja eh nur ein Mittel zum Zu. Big B Wolf? What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of... What place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. Mm. I'm not. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at, uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? Mm. It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I'll bet you get lucky there. <laughs> I, I, I guess that's why I call it, uh, I've been there. I didn't find what I was looking for. Had some words with Jersey, too. Words? Anyway, if, if I'd have known you already looked at the Lucky Pawn, I, I, I wouldn't have pointed you there. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. And I certainly don't mean to offend. I don't know how else to help. <laughs> yeah, well, Jersey had those dirty hands wrapped around my neck not too long ago. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I smashed his horse face in. Knocked some teeth out. He won't be chewing bubblegum anytime soon. Listen, Crane had the mirror. Mary had Crane. And she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. Hm. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Er hat Hilfe gerufen. Er hat den Knopf gedrückt.
Er hat Hilfe gerufen. Er hat was zu verbergen. Shit. Hm. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Natürlich hast du alles unter Kontrolle. Und du hast doch nichts zu verbergen. Lass uns einfach reden, Johann. Relax, Johann. I just want to talk. Fuck me. You want to talk. Let me talk to Jersey. What was that? Nothing, Sheriff. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for safety purposes. Natürlich. Come on, damn it. Du verhältst dich sehr verdächtig. Such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. Good fucking reason, I'd say. Wann wird er uns angreifen? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna kill me. Oh God, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Versteckst du etwas? Rede sonst. No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way. They said to me. Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. But it's a hard one to live with. They? You mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case bloody mary you, you want to talk about the real butcher it's her not me this is her place i'm telling you they muscled in on me took over my storage and delivery a long time ago all cause of that heat wave that summer was even hotter than this one oh, i'd let mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day playing cards having a great time i guess they were sizing the place up shows what i get for being nice I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not das werden wir noch sehen. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Na <lacht> schauen, was da hinter uns erwartet dann. Hier ein Labor. Hm. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around. Das sind Kommlas. Damn it! You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh? You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. <laughs> hm. 
So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Yeah. Fesson. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Vielleicht die Hexen oder andere magische Wesen, die das hier hergestellt haben. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's it's all the fucking same. Hm. Das ist so Chemielabor. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Hm. Tafel. Die gucken uns danach an. Da könnte was draußen. Raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Sieht ganz danach aus. Pitch symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never use that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please. Was, was geht hier nur vor sich? Das war schlimmer als gedacht. Too bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. Vielleicht steht was dahinter. Hm. Leider nicht. What the hell is that? Eine Jacke. I know this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Cranes. It's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. Na cool. No time for traveler's checks, huh? Minimsy won't be needing this anymore. That sick piece of... The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey! Hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. You're going to protect me. Hmm. Zumindest können wir jetzt rausfinden, wo der Crooked Man ist mit der Spiegelscherbe. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. 
Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Mm. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the Crooked Man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door, once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it, and that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Was ist los, Buffkin? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Oh yeah? Take a number. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? You got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. I found it in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes. Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Well, how would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? We have a bit of money collected. Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. Now that we're not in his shop, what more do you know about the Crooked Man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout, just what's right. I need me Crane skirt. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamour, Toad. You've got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. Wie er sich gleich freut, der Toad. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry. 
I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the Crooked Man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Okay. I have to say this. I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably still waking up a little. Yeah. I want to see where he's ended up to. Yeah. Boss crane. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction, and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door, it moves. What'd I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait! When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Not you can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. Keine Angst, but you have to zurück. make a commitment to working within the law. I'll catch him and bring him back here. Alive. And we can clean them and cook them together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case, so I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Also, machen wir es jetzt auf, dem Crooked Man entgegenzutreten. Join. Und wir gehen hinein. Hm. Tim. What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. 
I know you aren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Fine, lead on. Hmm. Also erwartet uns der Crooked Man. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I get it, you have a job to do. But you gotta ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. I understand the position you're in, but you don't have to do this. There are other things you could do. So it's just that easy? Maybe not, but you don't want to be a part of this. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you. But we need him, too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up! I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Do oh, yeah. Go ahead. You got a job to do. Scared of you. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Thank you, Tim. I know the Sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. The Crooked Man. So sehen wir uns also. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Also gut, reden wir. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. Das ist ja mal ein Cliffhanger. Unglaublich. Jetzt sitzen wir also hier und müssen auf die nächste Episode warten. Aber wir sehen ja einen kleinen Vorgeschmack, was uns das nächste Mal erwartet. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, now they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Unsere Entscheidung. Did you send Colin to the farm? Ich und 85% bleibt es seit Colin schuld und sollte nicht zur Farm gehen. 30%, 80,8% haben wirklich probiert, wir haben nicht probiert, das Rippen zu entfernen. Ähm, nur 36,8% sind zuerst zum Lucky Power gegangen. 73,3% haben auch entschieden, das tut nicht zu Farm. Nur 41,8% Prozent haben sich entschieden, mit dem Crooked Man zu reden. Warum? Warum soll ich das los auf den Losstock? Ich will den haben! Ist auch ein bisschen für ein Popo. 
mal ernsthaft. Naja. Gut, damit endet auch die vierte Episode von The Wolf Among Us. Noch eine bleibt offen und dann heißt es warten auf die zweite Staffel. Das ist schon mal schlecht. Ja, mieser Cliffhanger. Kann man echt auch mal festhalten. Uh. Und dann geht es darum, mit dem Crooked Man zu reden. Der Ausdruck ging, was er wirklich weiß. Das wird ein ganz schöner, krasser Your End Kampf. Ich gesehen haben, wir werden uns noch mit der Buddy Mary, Mary auseinandersetzen müssen. Puh. Nach der ganzen Grades werden wir dann nochmal schon mal ins Book of Fables hineingucken und werden nochmal die Einträge lesen. Die jetzt ein bisschen halt untergegangen sind, die wir jetzt nicht mehr lesen konnten. Ja. Dann mal gucken. Und mal gucken, wann es dann weitergeht mit der 5. Müssen wir mal gucken, weil, wie gesagt, keiner sein, dass bis dann noch Game of Thrones die vierte Episode rauskommt, aber... Er weiß das schon. Boom, 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 boom. So. Auch die Telltale Pads und dann sind wir jetzt auch gleich raus. So. Gut, gut. Dann wollen wir jetzt ins Buch der Fabeln gehen. Ach, das Buch der Fabels ist auch wunderbar. Ach, das Buch der Fabels. Das Buch der Fabels. Mm, 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 mm. Das Buch der Fables. Mm, 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 mm. Extras. Natürlich Erfolge. Es sind auch einige jetzt neue dazugekommen. Schließe Kapitel 4 ab. 5. Schließe für Episode 4 ab. Schalte alle Fabel. Äh, Wesen eintrage in Kapitel 4 ab. Haben wir natürlich nicht geschafft. Weil man dafür echt hier in dem Spiel echt so zweimal durchspielen muss. Eigentlich der Weg. Ist ja uns wieder ein bisschen was. Oder manchmal kann man so sehen. Johann, der Metzger. Sein Name wird oft mit selben Atemzug erwähnt wie der Beggars, äh, wie der des Beggars und des Katzenmaus von Fabletown und wie alle diese anderen Händler auch der Laden von Johann, dem Metzger. Fabletown seit vielen Jahren gedient. Frische Fleischsorten, exotische Fleischprodukte und sogar ganze Rinderhälften. Für den herzhaften Appetit von Ogern und Trollen. Doch Johanns Geschäft macht gerade eine harte Zeit durch und er hat sich mit falschen Freunden umgeben. Die Qualität seiner Produkte nimmt ab und sein Laden dient als Fassade für die kriminellen Machenschaften des Crooked Man. Und einige Leute fragen sich bereits, ob sich Johann jemals wirklich... Ob sie, äh, ob sie jemals sehen kann. Bluebirds Geld. Man könnte glauben, dass Bluebird die der Fabletown Verwaltung nur für seinen eigenen üblen Zwecke finanzielle Mittel zur Verfügung stellt, um besondere Gefallen einzufordern oder um mehr Einfluss auf die Verwaltung auszuüben. Aber was er wirklich will, ist Stabilität und Stärke. Denn soweit es Bluebeard betrifft, existiert Fabled nur, nur deshalb, um ihn von der Welt der Menschen zu isolieren. So sehr Geld auch als Schwert dienen mag, so sehr ist es auch ein Schild. Bäh. Das krumme Hauptquartier. Dieser leerstehende, diese leerstehende Kirche ist nur einer von vielen Orten, die der rumwandert, um seinen Chef im Fabletowns Unterwelt auszuführen. Ihr familiäres Ambiente macht sie zu einer bequemen, zu einem bequemen Treffpunkt, es sei denn, man ist ein ungebetener Gast. Der Außenwelt ist sie völlig unzugänglich und der einzige Weg hinein ist durch ein, eines von vielen Portalen, das durch eine Tür mit dem Fol Folterrad-Symbol des krummen Mannes gekennzeichnet ist. Diese Tür gibt es in, ganzen, in der ganzen Stadt. Und auch an den anderen Orten. The Crooked Man. Der krumme Mann hat sich nach und nach zu einer der mächtigsten Personen in Fabletown hochgearbeitet. Alles begann mit einem krummen Groschen und einem krummen Haus. Zwei Dinge, die ihm wichtiger waren als seine Frau und Kinder und damit diese ihm nicht in den Weg standen, hat er sie ermordet. Im Zuge seines Aufstiegs hat er 
Crooked Man viele Fabelwesen in sein verbrecherischen Netz gelockt und gab ihnen, was sie braucht, aber stets zu einem hohen Preis. Er ist verschlagen, überzeugt, skrupellos. Tiny Tim, Wächter. Während die meisten Fabelwesen vermuten, dass das Wissen der Menschen über ihre Existenz, ihre Langlebigkeit und ihr allgemeinen Zustand verbessert, scheint das auch einige wenige nicht zuzutreffen. Wenn Leiden oder eine Verletzung ein wesentlicher Bestandteil der Geschichte eines Fabelwesens darstellt, dann kann dieses bekannte Merkmal eine Heilung beinahe unmöglich machen. Das glaubt zumindest Tiny Tim und keine medizinische oder magische Methode, zumindest keine, die er sich leisten könnte, vermag sein Bein zu heilen. So, dann haben wir ja alles gelesen. Und dann können wir uns damit ja verabschieden aus der Episode. Wir sehen uns dann beim nächsten Mal wieder. Tschüss. Tschüss.